Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're continuing with our dark playthrough. Uh, but hang on, let me click into the game. I just started this video a second ago, and then I pushed spacebar immediately, which just stopped my recording. So I had to start over half a second into the video. But we're going back into dark, our little Halloween type of specialty. This is not where we left off, and I did not keep playing. Maybe this is the start of the one that I'm supposed to be on. But yeah, this is our little playthrough. It was like limbo. That's what I was thinking of the other day, and I'll probably put it in. Oh, shit. I'll probably put it into the video while I was editing. I just haven't edited yet. Uh, hang on. Can I walk up this wall? No, there's a little dip right there. You can pretty much only walk on flat surfaces. I believe this is chapter four also. in the front of a stage oh shit okay so that's how this one's working it's like throwing us forward and back inside of the ah uh, is that hidden yeah maybe i need to go further oh wait Okay, now let's check out this door. I don't know if I finished my intro or not, but honestly, we're just going right back into it. This is usually what we do anyways. I'm not sure at all what's happening. And okay, now we can take this light bulb. I don't know if I have to do anything else in here. It looks like I have no reason to come back though. We already did that part. Just turn that on. So I'll leave it facing that way. Go ahead and flip this the other way though. Cause I feel like we're going to need this power to be diverted back out of here. Right. So on that wall scoots back down. I'm still not able to see exactly where this goes. Although this is as far back as I can go on this wall. So at this point, I probably want to switch this that way. Maybe? And then keep going. I don't think I can do anything on this wall. Or oh, I just haven't checked yet. Ah, okay. Then I do need to re-divert the power over here. Cause it looks like that cord this cord right here goes all the way across the roof and i guess over the ceiling is how it's orientated for me in the normal way i'm considering this to be the normal flat where the chairs are the right side down basically yep this is i thought power gets pushed this way Oops, I right, did it again. I think though. All right, that shit on the side right there, this little whatever next to me, probably finna scare the shit out of me. Okay, all right. I did jump a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Not that much though. Even though I was prepared for it. So what I'm thinking is we gotta divert this power back out of here first. We'll come back later and re-divert it over there. But for now, I want to check out what's been behind me this whole time. Um, I never checked the... Well, I can't climb up this wall because it's that piece. In the, oh. Whatever. This has no power going to it, so to switch nothing. Now let's check out over here. I already have the power to avert it going up and into this area. Um, Ok, 
okay. So I have to find something else for this area. Didn't even think to do that and I don't know why. So we just grabbing snakes now? This whole finna be a fucking electric coil too is the funny part. I already know what we finna do to it. Peter finna be on our asses for this one. Cool. It's a shame what happened to that snake though, I'll be honest. And this mask is gonna keep us safe from the other dudes in there, right? So he was my inventory. Can I put it on now? Nah. So I think this is everything that we needed, right? Um, hang on. I don't want to jump back. Redivert the power back over to this direction, which takes it all the way around the top over to here. This is where we put the mask on so we can see what he looks like. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we just casually walk in here, act like we belong, drop this mask in. They see us seeing them and they're not even concerned. And we turn and walk back out casually. Don't draw attention to ourselves. We're not running because I'm supposed to be here, you know? Always move like you're supposed to be where you're at. Because then nobody questions the thing you do. That's how I got away with a lot of stuff. I like this one. This one was pretty straightforward. Didn't get stuck. Tell I got stuck on the first one, but this one was kind of a breeze, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't that bad. And that puts us game saved. And now we're on to chapter five. So it just dropped us into chapter four immediately. Wasn't really expecting that, but I was talking to my brother the other day explaining the game. And it really does just drop us in here because it put us in this room and then it said go to sleep. And then we just dropped into mission one. Everything about this game is coming fresh to me. I, It seems like it's an older game, but I never saw anything about it for real. Or if I did, it was only for a moment. Okay, so now we're back in some sort of train station. Fancy clock that's not working. Okay, I can jump. Didn't expect to be able to, I'll be honest. An electrical tape. I don't know why they would put that in a. I looked away for one second. Okay, the train just started moving, it sounds like. It sounds like something else is in here, though. Oh, never mind. That's just the train moving. Oh. That's interesting. And this will flip us back. Okay. There's that kid again. I don't know what this kid is doing. Cause he just kind of appears in random places. What's that? It looks like that drawer's gonna slide out if we. Yep. I'm hoping this glass doesn't break. Cause I thought it was like crackling or something for a second. I like how it puts up these little barriers so you know, like, I don't have to check that direction right now be in this orientation or something like that. So you're not sitting here checking what would be like eight different directions. Although in this room, I didn't check much of anything. So we can't go backwards and we can't go forward. What about here? Can we go forward? No. What if we keep going backwards? And then we just continue onward then. Doesn't look like I'm missing anything just yet. Although I don't know what to do with this. What is it? Octangular octagon piece. An octagon panel.
So I have to keep going to look, I guess. I don't know if this kid has shown up. I think the kid has shown up in every mission so far. So we're missing at least four different things because I haven't used any of the things that I have now just yet. Collect the octagonal pan octagonal octagon panel goes here. And now we got to divert stuff to the other side. Let me see if I can just look at it. So. Nope, oh, too far away. Ah, I didn't expect. Oh, it's interesting. Didn't mean to do that. I'll be honest. <laughs> Okay. There we go. The main issue there was not really figuring it out. It was more knowing what moved what. Because it took me a second to get used to it. There better be something in here. No idea how that's going to be used. It looks like we're that like it feels like that would send a current through our body. Also, we're on a train. Where is this going? Is this all because we were just flat? Hang on a second. Let's look at this real quick. It definitely looks like we're on the first level of the train, or at least in previous sections, it looked like that. Um. Let's check out this direction first before we come back and look at that. Didn't even see this dude walking here, I'll be honest. So it looks like all of our main antagonists gonna look like this floppy dude, I guess. Where's my next hiding spot? Ooh, I got too close by him. He scared me. This one is slightly different though. Ah, yeah, wall walking, of course. But this one's body's built differently. It's not as spindly as the last one was. I think it might have a different arm doing the thing too. So we can put the coal in the furnace. And it looks like this is as far back as we can go. So I can start heading back and check out that little hole that we passed on the way to this area. And then just run it all the way back. It's like he has sticky feet though. It's not that he has like gravity manipulation or something like that. It looks like it's something else that I'm gonna need now. But did I miss any? Well, we definitely have to go back actually to turn on that generator because it's probably a coal generator since we are on a train, right? So maybe this will no hang on. Maybe this will allow some other ability, right? Ah, don't have matches. 
So I need at least matches and maybe something to hold those electrical currents closed. So I wouldn't imagine that the game's gonna have us send the electricity through our bodies. Especially with two hands, because that does, I believe, direct it towards the heart, if I'm not mistaken. And now we're on the ceiling. Doesn't appear like there's anything to do in other orientations, right? On the back wall now. Um, huh. Can't put the piano there. I don't know what this piano is needed at all. And maybe it's something further back this way that I missed also. So let's check this out. Maybe the piano goes here. That shit is not a toy. It's a full size piano. You can't do anything with it though. Not unless that's a pressure plate that activated something somewhere else. Let's check out this area some more though. So I don't I feel like I didn't look at it as much as I could have. Can I go backwards here? No. So I can't go backwards on either side. There's a one on this panel here too. I think that's just the counting of the trains. And then of course I can't leave. I thought I was being clever by going backwards first. I thought I was sneaking onto something. And maybe that is when we got onto the train. Maybe it was a double decker the whole time because we saw the, the locomotive at the very beginning. Which I just looked at it thinking like, oh, another train level or subway level. Turns out that was, um, that was it. Oh shit, there's a key right there. Okay, how do I get that then? That key is probably is probably what I need. Is that a lever hidden right here? There is. What's that hidden? You, did y'all see that? There's something. There was something in here. Also, the piano just fell through there. Didn't expect that to happen. That's the cabinet key unlocked. Well, not unlocked, but received. This is a weird ass train too. I can't go backwards anymore. Let's check this area out. Some mushrooms growing on the train. It's definitely some sort of uh, FDA violation right there. Oh, fuck no. Nah. This is that thing that we saw at the end of the last mission. So it's some old lady that's blind and has a mask on too. Doesn't look like her legs is working properly either. Oh shit! That got me. That one got me too. I assume we have to sneak up to her. I don't know why I started sneaking so far away. Bro, if she jumps, it's gonna scare the shit out. Ha, <laughs> yo, bitch. All right, cool. I don't know why she had dynamite anyways or how it got there. Also, I don't know what happened to the piano either. But we really only got that piano to smash a hole in the wall.
We have a corkscrew. I think that's everything back here to interact with now. We can't go for we can't go into that far wall with the bar, which makes sense since all we'd be doing is getting stuck between the bar and that cabinet that we just opened. We can't go left or or we can't go right here and left leads us into that area. And I don't think we can go any more left in this direction. Yeah. And then going right is what got us the key. So I think everything now is gonna be on what? Is this number three and four? Four and five. Now, does the dynamite go in here? No. Okay. And dude is the net is in the next car, I believe. Or the car after this one, actually. Corkscrew. This is finna fuck some shit up, I bet. Oh shit. Uh, I can't climb this wall. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling I was supposed to put the TNT there first. Can't climb this wall, so I'd have to run. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's give this a try and see if we got it. I remember one time I shocked the shit out of my, like literally shocked the shit out of myself too. In fucking engineering class, that shit hurt. I did it twice in a row so someone could record the second time, right? Um, that shit, like getting electrocuted, most painful thing in the world, probably. Like, your nerves work off of electricity. So to shock yourself is like causing all, it's like causing all of your nerves to fire at once, essentially. So if you get shocked really bad, you're you're done that's why getting electrocuted kills people if you hit them if you get enough bolts kills people before they hit the floor either through the actual electrical shock causing damage or probably literal mental shock now i feel like this is gonna kill me because each electrocution is getting more intense I need to go back again right here and then i need to go over there forward two then back over backwards one backwards one that's like it being on my face and then this is the last one then i need to get the fuck away from it Would have been nice to see it, but there's no way I'm gonna die after doing all that fucking. I hate events like that where you have to do. It's not even a quick time event, which I also don't like. It's like a, it's like a, a pattern event. We have to do shit in a certain way. Hate those in solo games and multiplayer games like Portal. It was pretty fun. That's weird. So this train is in like an L shape, pretty much. Then. Oof. Uh, oh, fuck nah, man. She's going to be getting closer. I was supposed to be doing this the whole time. I, I can't, I can't finish this right now. Now. My dude walked off of it. Oh, no, nah, it's not getting done. Oh, I'm not even in the right spot. I lost my area. I feel like that'd be scarier if they showed her once and then only let you hear the sound of her getting. What is this? Thing? Nothing. Can't see where I'm at. It's not making the noise for if I go up or down, so I don't know if I'm actually up or down when I do it. 
Yeah, like it didn't go up. Cool. The fuck out of here. To be honest, though, right? Like, if we just had a few rocks, like if we brought some more coal with us and we just threw it in front of a girl, her wheelchair would get stuck on the rock. Let's be honest. Like, that's probably some ableist type shit to say, but also it's true. And if you know someone in a wheelchair is trying to kill you, it wouldn't be that bad. But also, girl could walk. Why do we, why do we pull that switch? I guess that's the switch that brought down the, the gate, maybe? I don't know. It seems like it's only opening and closing this door. I want to be careful because I feel like something's going to happen where a girl is in front of us because if, at this point, it might just be too easy to walk back and get it done. And in this room, it always sounds like something's occurring. We did make it through this. I'm gonna go for three, three, uh, three a video. I think that was the second one we did. So we started on four. This is five. And six is. I do think it's pretty cool that they kind of hinted her before they brought her all the way. This gets us back in the bath so good. I got one more to go. Chapter six is now unlocked. The one, two, three, here comes six, and then we'll stop on seven. Right. Oh, fuck no, nah, dog. That's like if, Ince if in Inception, as they were falling asleep, someone ran up on their body, and then they're stuck in the next dream. I want one. I want one. Fuck. Wait, can I get one? Damn, I gotta go collect them legs. Who should have been on it? I'll tell you, right? If I was in this dude's shoes, <clears throat> after seeing the arms, I'm taking every body part I can see. This is finna be weird. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, how's dude gonna flip up a wall? What girl asleep right there? Oh, fuck. Wait, is that the kid? Shit, I walked away from it. I wasn't trying to deal with it. Can't do anything right here right now. I can't put anything in there right now. But right now, I'm functioning back here. Take this plank of wood. That's definitely gonna give me over that gap. It's something metal, it looks like. Get this though. I feel like this kid's gonna snatch on my legs like the troll under the bridge. Okay. What does this handle do? We're back on the train now. I'm gonna just start crouching. I didn't see dude right there until I realized I heard. It looks like we can get behind us too. Like there's definitely more behind us. Also, for C being sneak, it makes more sense now. Because before, I thought it was just... You have to hold it the whole time. Don't actually have to. It was fine. Got a compass. A door up here. I'm starting to get used to it now. Thinking about which walls I can't walk on. Uh, let's 
check the front first. Compass doesn't go in there. This magnet will probably be useful. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be used right here. Okay. Fuck that. <laughs> I was going to sprint through that room. Let's get a flight to here. Here's the candle magnet. All right, so maybe I have to go back to that first room or something. Can't remember what was back this way. I know Trumpet dude is. Oh! <laughs> okay, now he's facing. It's like he's sneezing himself around. And I don't know which side of him I need to avoid. I need to avoid him running into me or him literally seeing. actually sneezing like I guess he only sees out the very front of that piece because his head tilts upward but away from the that yeah, real relax is that dude being right there I'll be honest when I ran up, when I sprinted up to that piece and he didn't do shit to me, it was a dud. I did not realize my mic fell down at some point during this recording. Don't know when, but it's back up now. Hopefully it didn't mess up the sound too much, but I mean, and checking my, my stuff. I don't know how long it's been down. Basically. I don't know when I'm editing, how long it's been down. Cause it'll sound slightly different. Cause I'm talking to my pop filter pretty much. Okay. So now we hit this into here. Let's just go forward. Jesus. Okay. Didn't expect the compass to do that either. Now we got power in here. Ah, all right. All right. I got it. We can't power that one yet because you have to get this one in the right orientation. And this one in the. Uh, how many more do we have? Damn, old girl with the wheelchair probably is gonna pull up, ain't she? There's no other wires, right? 
So this has to be the right way around for this one. That has to be it for that one, right? Maybe this is it for that one. Now, because I got to think about where the power needs to go. Looks like the power only goes over the top for this one. Oh, I see it. Yep, that's it. There we go. Girl in wheelchair now. Now all wheelchairs are going to throw me off. Like all the wheelchairs in this game, at least. Not in general. I feel like someone's dissected or like experiments. Experiments on in this table. This kid fucking annoying. Oh, shit. Here we go. That kid is fucking annoying, man. It's never scared me. It's more like, why are you here? I just don't think kids can scare me at this point, honestly. Not unless like it's a surprise type, like jump scare type thing. But, like in general, a child does not scare me. When you can accidentally kill a kid, oh fuck, the lady's gone. But when you're accidentally, well, let me take that back a second. When kids are small enough to where if you don't see them and you can kick them on accident, it's far less of an issue. Okay. Interesting how let me grab that back real quick. Not upset though. So could I have just stopped right there then? Or what? What's up? Also, if old lady is in here somehow, it's some bullshit. I feel like this light thing is gonna kill me also, because it looks like it's alive. I don't have a cursor to really show you where it is, but like in that top right corner, that bolts is moving in weird ways. Why would I do that? Let's do it like this. Oh yeah, this bitch is alive. I'm gonna kill this hoe though. Yoink. Real shame if it was alive. Real shame. I'll be honest, I don't know where the screw goes. Not in the slightest. I thought we were done. Oh, we weren't. Because we have this piece. Um, There we go. That's from the turn. All right, now I gotta go grab that key again. Reorientate it till it to 
I guess not a dick, but two balls, I guess now. I don't know. Whatever. Definitely don't have to refer to it in this way. I just think it's more fun. Okay, cool. That's fine. No, honestly, he wasn't trying to do that. I thought I was going to be able to wall walk off of that or something. Oh, shit. What's up, dog? Cool. Don't know how the leg got all the way in there, but whatever. But it looks like that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all liked it. I'm trying to do some different games. I've spent a lot uh, too much time playing XCOM Chimera Squad, honestly. Oh, I'm just trying to do my little outro as I left. I should come up with a, come up with an actual outro sequence too. That way, the little subscribe and videos recommended thing doesn't show up on top of me still talking. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying out some other games. Epic Game is giving out a lot of free games, just in general, not even for me specifically, because I only have like what two viewers a video and. 30 ish maybe subscribers who knows haven't checked in a while but that's gonna be all for this video thanks for watching don't forget to follow all my other socials in the description down below um don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff it helps me grow the channel thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time